Hello! Okay, today we're not going to be making bar soaps, so we're going to be making some whipped soaps. So this is my whip soap in a jar, which I make from scratch. I don't use the Stevenson's foam and bath butter base, I make my own. Um, apologies in advance, but I won't be sharing the recipe for this product. Um, main reasons, it took me three years to perfect it and get it right. And also here in the UK, when we have a product to assess with our chemist, we have to pay for every single one. Um, which isn't the case in lots of other countries. So, you know, my hard work, the things I've paid for, I'm not about to give it away. So I'm just being honest with you about that one. Um, I'll show you just a little bit of the whipping because it's in my big machine at the moment. I've just got to finish whipping the base up and it's got all the colour and it's got all of the fragrance already in there. It's just that it's a long process. Like, this container here is... I make a great big batch of it on my stove and it usually takes me all day to get, or half a day at least, to get like 20 kilos of it made and then I use that base and make sort of lots and lots of different batches out of it. So it's a really time consuming process because making lots of different scented batches, it's like I have tons of containers as you can imagine with all the different fragrances in ready to go. It's just a bit of a nightmare to film, whereas making soap is a lot easier. But I'll show you part of the process so you can just get an idea. So this is mainly for my customers who watch these videos quite regularly, so you can see how the product is made. Okay? Okay, so down in here is my mixture, and I've already started whipping this one. Um, we're just going to finish it, so every time I move this, the machine will turn off, and so I've got a button on the side. So I'll... Um, take the sound out of this because it gets really loud but you can see it's basically just whipping it up and this will happen for about 10 minutes So that's that. I'll do this again in, in a second. We'll get to the next part of the video. So I whip it. I scrape down the sides every now and again just to make sure that all the mixture's in there because sometimes it can settle at the bottom. So like when this is, um, when I start whipping, it's almost like a liquid. Not quite. It's like a thick, gloopy substance. And I sort of use a little blender for it before I put it into my big stonking blender here and this one I can get lots and lots of gels out of using this mixer so we'll move up and I'll show you the next bit okay so I'm just laying out my clean film I don't like to put my base straight into the piping bag because it is just a nightmare so I'd like to stick down a few layers of cling wrap before I plop a load of it into the middle. So, you grab it. Okay, so in this great big container so I've got my that's the size of the whisk <laughs> it'd be rather big put that to the side I'm just going to put a little bit in to my cling film and then we'll pop this cling film inside the piping bag so I don't like to overfill if I'm doing a video I normally would overfill and have a load of it in there which is a bit of a pain in the ass to work with but it just uh, I get fed up with having to keep doing the cleaning wrap and all that sort of thing so I tend to overfill most times but we won't today Just squish that in there, like so. 
See why I'm kind of reluctant to do these sort of videos because it's just so time consuming. So now we've got a nice amount in there to work with. It would still be quite tricky to pipe, but it won't be too bad. Okay, so I'm going to grab my piping bag. And just get that in there, like so. Snip off the end. Take my piping tip. So I'm just using like the regular sort of rosy one today. Well, it's what I always use to do whip soap because it looks the nicest, I think. I don't like the one with too many ridges in it. This one just makes things look nice. Okay. So I'm just going to squeeze down a little bit and then I like to sort of hold the bag in the middle like that and then leave a bit at the top there. It just gives you better control when piping into the jar. So I'm just going to bring you in closer so you can see it going in and I'll do a few and that's pretty much the process. Okay, so let's just get a few piped and then you can see. So start off piece in the middle and then just start piping it round inside the jar. Put a bit more down. And I just keep going until it's full like that. So I leave a bit on the top and I mean I will have to weigh these and make sure they're the right weight but I leave a bit on the top so that when you take pictures you've got that nice bit that comes out the top of the jar. It just makes things look really pretty when you're taking product shots. So again, like a soup. It doesn't have to be perfect because this gets squished down with the lid. So I like to leave quite a lot of um, air in the jar so I don't like to sort of fill bang it down fill bang it down because the lids have to go on so I'll bang it down and then the lids go on so it's a shame really that you have to put the lid on because it looks so nice <laughs> but they still look really really nice in the jar I'll show you in a second let's just, just do a couple more and what's going on out there at the moment sirens everywhere there's always something going on one more. So it's quite a satisfying product to make and it's instantly ready, you know, not like a soap. So there we have it. I will show you how I do the lid. Let me just grab one. Okay, so to put the lid on, I just basically push like that and then screw it down. So in the jar you still got this really nice piped substance and it just looks really nice. So if you wanted to make a whip soap you could go to any sort of soap making supplier. I think like in the States Brambleberry, there's obviously a lot more people that do this but Brambleberry I mean at the forefront of the game I guess. Um, but other people in the comments if you want to ask each other questions about where to get stuff in the States then you can make this this kind of product using a base it's just that I don't like using bases so I make my own from scratch like I said in the beginning so yeah this is my whip soap and it's a lovely lovely product and I will leave links to my website below as uh, along with everything else there's like the usual like soap making stuff like I'm always being asked about my soap making bowls, about my cutters, everything, just so you know, all links to everything are in the description. Okay, so there's my whipped soap. I will see you later. Ta-ta.